Hi and welcome to our next Photoshop tutorial. I'm often asked about cutting uh, foregrounds out of uh, images for, for uh, overlays or, or for product work. So what I thought we'd do is, is discuss one of the, uh, the many tricks that you can uh, do to, to really facilitate cutting a, an object out of a white background. So what I have here is I have an image of a bicycle that I shot on a cyclorama. Um, you can see in the, the bottom of the image uh, the bicycle is sitting on a couple of uh, light colored wood blocks and there's some, some tape marks and some other things that need to be removed for this to be a clean image. So the first thing I'm going to do to get uh, a pretty good idea of what we need to do is I'm going to create an adjustment layer and I'm going to use levels and I'm going to crank the blacks way up so that I can see everything that's not almost pure white. And as you can see, there's a lot of things that we didn't originally see in that image that would show up in printing or other uses uh, that just need to be cleaned up. So we go ahead and we do that. Then we create an additional layer. And the layer is just going to be an empty layer that we're going to use to paint white in. And my reasoning for that is I don't want to erase from the original in case we go over a little bit or we have another issue. We can always go back and, you know, if it's just a white layer, we can erase uh, from that white layer, no problem. So we're going to go ahead and create that layer. Then an easy way to do it is we use the magic wand tool. And we set our tolerance pretty high, uh, let's say 50 or so. And we just go ahead and we click on that tool in a white area. And as you see from our blinkies that a whole lot of the area that we need to make white is mass that we, we can do so. We can, we can go along the edges of the wheels and, and that without having any uh, issues with over overspray or overrun. So if we just take our white paintbrush and we, if you look in the bottom left corner, I'm just going around that wheel. I pretty much clean that up in the first pass. Now there's going to be a couple of different passes that we're going to do here because as you see the wooden block in the bottom left corner and some other things uh, are going to need to be touched up. But this gets us you know 50 percent of the way there in less than a minute of work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom in and uh, look at what that corner looks like. So we're going to go ahead zoom in down here That. No. Uh, you may notice the resolution of this image isn't great. I'm using a uh, 1200 pixel wide image uh, just to make the working a little bit easier uh, with the video recording going on. Okay, so if we turn the levels back on, we're going to see that wooden block turn completely black. That's really not what we want. We want to be able to see exactly what we're doing. So we're going to turn that back off. Now we're going to go to our magic wand tool again, and we're going to click on the wood color. Okay, great. We have a pretty good line there around the, uh, the wood wedge and the tape. So we're going to go ahead, go back to our white layer, use our paintbrush, and paint that in. And uh, now let's turn off our selection. And you see there's a little bit of a flat spot there, a little bit of touch-up that needs to be done. Uh, we can do that manually. Very small brush. we we'll just go in there. Like that. And that's a little bit of shadow there. Okay, let's zoom back out. And as you see, if we work our way around the image, uh, we're going to get a nice, um, clean white background. Uh, obviously areas like up top, uh, we can just mask that out pretty quickly with that white paintbrush. And we're going to get a bicycle on a pure white background, which is what our client needs. Alright, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found this somewhat useful. Again, visit my website, darrenshade.com. Bye.